Hi all. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss how to use controller file and sample fxml file in JavaFX application. So up to now, we have seen we have used uh, main Java file and sample fxml file for many tasks. So in our first video, we have discussed how to use sample fxml file, then how to design some interfaces, then how to uh, use some elements then how to change the colors then how to uh, make uh, some paints then how to make some elements then how to change the uh, different colors to how to add image those things we have discussed uh, already about in sample fxml file together with scene builder okay so today uh, in this video lecture we are going to discuss how to use the sample xml file a uh, design and how to use this controller file and how to join these two together and how to perform some task okay so first uh, we'll uh, try to design a small interface what we need for the uh, application so i'm going to uh, just add a pane uh, so i will be uh, adding an anchor pane to my pane then uh, okay i'll delete these things first then i will add a anchor pane so default we will be getting a grid pane so instead of grid pane i will be deleting the grid pane and i will be adding an anchor pane to my pane so uh, what i supposed to do and what i'm going to do is like uh, so when i click some object so i will be having a text field and i will be having a button so what i'm going to do is what i'm going to perform here is when i click a button when i'm having a button so if i click a button it should appear the text which is inserted to the text field i'm going to take take that text field from the text from the text field and show it in a label so that is the thing i'm going to do in this tutorial and we'll see how we are going to design this interface first so we'll uh, add a, a label first so i'll put demo one adding a text to a label from text field so this is my label adding a text to a label from a text field so i'll increase the size so you know we have already seen there are properties and layouts and i have already uh, taught you how to increase the sizes then how to add colors those things we have already been discussed in the first tutorial itself okay so uh, then i'm going to add the one more uh, label i'll put uh, enter your and uh, your name i put like that small correction enter your name so to enter a name i should have a text box so then i am going to select a, a text field so i am having a text field so then uh, i should have what a button what is the usage of button so i'll put as click so that is meaning of this one when i click the button i can reach this text field so what i'm going to do is when i click the button uh, then i should take the text from here and show it in my label so i will be having a one more label i'll take the label and put it here then i can uh, make it empty so i'm going to make it empty so then i'm having a, a one text field one button and one label here so if you see the hierarchy here inside the anchor pane i am uh, adding i'm going to add label two labels one is for this text then i'm having a one more label for this enter your name one then i'm having a one more label uh, not label a text field for taking the user input a button when the button is clicked i can perform some task then i am having a label okay so my designing the interface is fine so now what i am going to do is i am going to work on the controller 
file okay so you can see i am working on the controller file so the first thing i am going to add it i need to initialize all the elements in my interface so here i am having three elements what uh, text field label and a button okay so i'll initialize those elements so how to initialize i can use at fxml so what is this fxml fxml is used for initializing the element so it is showing that okay this is belong to a fxml element okay so if you uh, initialize it correctly when you initialize this fxml tag you can see uh, you have to select this java fx fxml library to be imported why this is a normal tag or normal attribute we are calling so it should be imported from this set of library okay uh, then we are going to initialize the label and the text field so usually when we are initializing those elements we are keeping those elements as private elements okay so private i am going to initialize label so when you are selecting you should select this scene control label okay so you should select this scene control label then you can see this class java fx scene control label class is important okay then you can uh, give a variable name so uh, in my case i have given the variable name as lb1 okay then i need again one more uh, fxml tag for the initializing the text field okay so here you can see then if i uh, typed text field then java fx scene control text field you have to select then you can create a one element from the text field one also okay so i have created now uh, two elements which i need one is uh, lail b1 and other one is tf1 a text field okay so then what we need we need the functions to be happen so actually we need a button so why we need what we are not going to initialize the button why we don't need a button as an element why button is performing one set of task so if a button is there first i should initialize initialize what a function so i am going to initialize public void then i can give the uh, function name i would like click okay so click is initialize so i am having a now a separate function for the click so then what i am going to do so the main idea of my task is when i click the button i should change or i should take the text from the text field and put it into my what label okay so the first thing i should do is then i should take my text from the text field so that means you should save it to some text right so i can write a string a string uh, i'll give a name as text txt a string txt equal so how to take a text from the text field okay so then in this position we are going to use setters and getters so what are the setters and getters so setters are used to set some value if we want to set some value for a variable we will be using setters so if we want to get some value if, if any value is already initialized in somewhere or in an element if we want to get those value we will be using get as so then how to get a value so we should get the value from our text field right we should get our value from the text field so from where we should get tf1 dot i should get text so what it mean so i am having a variable called txt to that txt 
I got my value from the TF1 text field. Then what I'm going to do, I want to set that value to my label. So then I'm having a label called LB1, LB1 dot what set text. So what should I text? What should I uh, set to the text? That should be txt. I can type txt. So that is mean by when I click the button, it will first take the value from the tf1 text field. Then it will set the text of the label one. This taken txt. So here I am using getters. And here I'm what I'm going to do is I'm using setters getters to get the value setters to set the value so we have initialized all the element what we need and then we have initialized the function needed for doing this task okay so our control file is done now so then what we have to do is you should go to the sample file and we should connect this controller with sample file first we should connect the controller file and sample fxml file so what you have to do is you have to add this set of code what is fx controller sample dot controller so sample this is our uh, project controller so controller is the this file see package is sample from the sample now we are calling the controller to our fxml file okay so if we then go to scene builder then if you go and click this button you can see this area is highlighted right properties layout and code is highlighted then go to code so then what we are going to do is we are going to give that initialize tf1 variable to or we are going to initialize this is tf1 text field so so then uh, if you see in this uh, code segment part if you go to code segment part and if you see this from this drop down button you can select what is the uh, variable name what we have given so here this is text field i am going to select tf1 okay then i need the label so i am going to select the label i can give the label initialization so for the button we need what we did we initialize the function right so we want to initialize the function for this click so on click so I we don't need any ID here we are going to initialize when I click this button on action this function click should be call okay so what we did we initialize this fx ID label ID here label ID and click on action function so then if you go to the text field you can see in the text field tf ID is initialized for the label lb1 is initialized for the button uh, on action this call function click function is initialized okay so these are the things you should do to connect this uh, scene builder and controller together so what we did first you should go to the text field you should add this part what fx controller sample controller part so this part is for joining controller with sample fxml file then we'll go to the scene builder we are going to select those elements then add those variables what we have initialized in the controller file okay so our task is done we have initialized elements we have initialized one function then we have initialized these uh, functions names to the button and the element names to the respective elements okay then what we have to do is we will run it and see whether our code is going to work okay so it's built in now so we can see our interface so in this case you can uh, initialize uh, the height and the width also so if i uh, initialize or if i give a name like i'll give a name deshan so on click it should be appear in the label what is happening here when I click the button this controller file will get the text from get the text from this text field so text field is there he will get the value from this text field and 
set it in the label set it in the label so if i add some more it will be added into the label if i add one more text it will be added into the label so this is how this everything is configured controller file sample file and main java file so in the other tutorials we'll be discussing some other more functions computations moving here and there then some other activities in later tutorials so if you have any issues regarding these things you can drop a comment on the section